Prince Harry and Prince William's once inseparable bond has deteriorated into cold silence fueled by Harry's departure to the United States with Meghan Markle and the subsequent revelations from his explosive memoir Spare. Now, there are whispers that Harry may have sought help from his cousin Zara, pleading for an intervention to repair the frayed relationship with his older brother. However, it's alleged that Zara has turned him down. The tension between the royal brothers has been palpable since Harry's exit from royal duties in 2020. Rumours of discord have haunted the family ever since, as Harry and Meghan embarked on a new life across the Atlantic, seemingly distancing themselves from the firm. Amid this backdrop, Zara Tindall, the daughter of Princess Anne and one of the more understated members of the royal family, reportedly found herself in a position to help. With her strong ties to both William and Harry, many believe that she could bridge the chasm between the estranged siblings. According to royal sources, Zara had been privately engaging in peace talks, quietly working behind the scenes to heal the rift. A source confided that Zara felt a sense of duty, believing that she was the only one who could get through to both brothers. Zara thinks that there couldn't be a better time for her to try and broker peace, the insider revealed. Yet, in a heartwarming twist, it's claimed that despite Harry's plea for help, Zara's backed away, unwilling to become further embroiled in the feud. The timing of this development is significant. There's been a growing buzz about Harry's possible return to the UK with speculation that he might re-establish ties with his family. Some saw this as an opportune moment for reconciliation, especially after William and Catherine extended a rare public olive branch by sending birthday wishes to Harry as he turned 40. Despite this gesture, however, reports from GB News suggest that the brothers have yet to rekindle any personal communication. The icy silence persists, leaving many to wonder if Zara's potential role as a peacemaker has been abandoned. What complicates this family saga is the rising prominence of Zara and her husband Mike Tyndall within the royal fold. Once on the periphery, the Tyndalls have recently found themselves in the public eye, hailed as PR gold dust for the monarchy. As Giles Kenningham, a royal commentator and former Downing Street press chief noted, the couple's become an asset to the royal brand. Independent, financially secure and relatively scandal-free, Zara and Mike have quietly garnered public favour, prompting some to suggest that they take on more royal responsibilities. Zara in particular has remained an enigma within the royal family. Raised without a title, a decision made by her parents that she's often praised, she's built her own life apart from the pressures of the crown. As an accomplished equestrian, Zara represented Britain at the Olympics, winning a silver medal in 2012. Her humility and grounded nature have endeared her to the British public, making her seem like the ideal mediator between her warring cousins. However, the burden of such a role may be too much for Zara to bear. The ongoing speculation that King Charles may bestow a princess title upon her has only added to the pressure. In a moment that perhaps encapsulates Zara's complicated relationship with the royal family, a cheeky exchange at Princess Eugenie's wedding in 2018 has resurfaced. A lip reader claims to have captured a moment where Zara jokingly compared the quiet of Eugenie's wedding to the screaming at Harry and Meghan's nuptials, a light-hearted jab that hinted at the ongoing tension within the family. As rumours swirl, the royal rift continues to dominate headlines. The road to reconciliation remains treacherous, and Zara Tyndall may not be the saviour that Harry had hoped for.